In this video, we're gonna show you how to properly set the flow rate for the oil pump. So the flow rate is controlled by this uh, needle valve here for this flow control. And as you turn this tighter, it restricts the flow of the oiler. So as you loosen it, it will increase the flow of the oil. So the oil pump is driven directly by the shaft of the, um, from the motor itself or from the drive shaft and it is pumped from the reservoir through a flow control all the way to your bar so you can see that the right now the oil is oil is empty going to the bar so as you start the engine the pump will be pumping and the flow control you can set as you see the the bubble and the flow starting going to the uh, going to the bar itself. The ideal condition is is really set by both ear and how much oil ends up in the chain itself. Given the viscosity changes and your ambient temperature and everything else, we can't set this to a standard flow or standard position and have it work for everybody. So you're going to have to set this based on your ambient and what type of oil you use in order to, to dial this in appropriately. There is a set screw here. Once you find a, a good uh, flow rate, you can, with a small Allen screw, set the set screw so that this doesn't change um, by operator to operator or um, by accident. What you want to do is go ahead and, with the chain running itself, check to see the that the oil in the bar is appropriate. So by checking the oil where the cut's actually being made, making sure that there is oil on the chain appropriately. If you get too much buildup for in the um, in the take-up unit at the at the end of the take-up unit, or back in the back by the drive sprocket, if it's significantly built built up and spraying out the back, then you probably should dial it back. There really isn't any bad reason to have too much oil other than making a mess and wasting money. Having too little will cause premature wear on your bar itself. So that's really how you should adjust it based on both audible feedback. You can really hear the difference between a dry chain and a lubricated chain, as well as evidence of overspray on both the drive sprocket down here or at the take-up unit itself.